Hello, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the story. Stories of Princess and Prince, uh, Prince and Princess. Today I'm going to read until chapter 2. There is like this, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4. So I'm going to read chapter 1 and chapter 2. Mm, I think I can read this all, right? Chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4. I will read all the chapters today. Hmm. Chapter 1, The Clumsy Prince. Holwine was the clumsiest prince in the kingdom. Other prince forgot Dragons. Colleen, Colleen fell over the over princess, but third will ends. Colleen bumped it into them. One day, he tripped it in front of a sad princess. She thought he was so funny. She wanted to marry him on the spot. Are you princely? Enough to marry my daughter. Her father has other ideas. He gave Pauline three te test tests. He knew Pauline would not pass. First, Colline had to show how properly he could be, but he was so busy talking politely to the queen. <coughs> May I pass you the sugar? Ma'am, careful, Daddy, that he didn't see the butler. Oh, Ugh. but Princess is laughing. Next, he had to take the princess out, but somehow he lost the rowboat. boat. Then he had to ride the roll horse like a prince. He ride like a clown said the king. He must leave the palace tomorrow. That night, Colline couldn't sleep. Suddenly, he heard a scream. 
It was the princess. Help! I am being kind up bit. Coline jumped. What was going on? Was someone stealing the princess? He landed out of his window and sent the flower pot flying. Woo! Strange not to the head of the man stealing the princess. The princess he fell to the ground with a tub. Caroline raised it from the tower and swept the princess. Got you. The king and queen raced out to what's going on cried the king was what was suddenly calling done wrong now he is rescued he has rescued me said the princess really said the king really said she said really she said the king smiled well, the yard of rescuing princess is to marry her, he said. Oh, Colline. So Colline lived. Clung. Silly but happy ever after. Chapter Two The Prince Who Wouldn't Get Married. Her liked being a princess, except for one thing. She didn't want to marry a prince. You have to, said her dad. It's, it's what princess do. The king asked three princesses to visit. Choose one, he told Pearl. But Pearl didn't want to. Princess are boring, she said, mm -hmm. to plump, to tall. Pearl didn't like the third prince, but she didn't say so to Harry. The king was angry. If you won't marry a prince, you will marry the first man who comes to the castle. The next day, a beggar arrived playing a viol old violin. I order you to marry my daughter. Yes, sir, your majesty. Pearl and the beggar were married on the spot.
With his bear, the beggar reminds the purse of someone. Whoever he was, she didn't want to marry him. But the beggar took her home as his wife. Welcome to your new home. Cheer up, said he said. If you married a princess, you do have to live in a boring castle. The beggar was kind, but very poor. They were old rats and never had enough to eat. Pearl was used so used to serve it. Now she didn't did everything. The floors at the palace seems to stay stay clean. One day, the beggar brought home some straws. We can make basket with to sell, he said. He said, but the straw cut cross hands. This is no good. You must get a job," said the beggar. "Prince, I'll else is getting married. Perhaps you can work in the." Cast tail over on the over the hill. The castle cook was pleased to have help. She took pity on her and gave her some food. Was going to home when she passed the ballroom. She thought there was a prince as giving a speech to his good as this. Perhaps it wouldn't have been so bad to marry a prince. Just then, the prince turned around and saw her. You are a hairy prince, called Per. I wonder if he, she knows. I think that that girl. Is the prince? Pearl tried to run away, and the foot fell from her up horn. The goose. Began to laugh. Guest it began to laugh. I do like to dance with you," said the prince, and he reached for her hand. Just one dance. Per burst in.
into tears. She pulled her hands from the prince and fell. The prince else got up with her. Pearl looked at him closely. It was her backer. Don't you re recognize my violin? He took her back to the ballroom. Would you marry my very apprentice now? Asked Elsie. I would, said Per, but I am already married to you. No more flowers to scrub either. Chapter 3 The Prince and the Pig Boy Once a poor prince named Sam lived in a tiny castle. All he won were a beautiful rose tree and a lovely nightingale. Sam fell in love with a rich princess named Sarah. So he spent her his beautiful tree and a lovely nightingale. <clears throat> but Sarah was not pleased. A silly tree and a noisy bird, she said, send them back. Sam didn't give up. He went to Sarah's palace and got a job taking care of the palace pigs. They don't smell as sweet as my rose tree. But Sam missed it, his home. He was missed it, the lovely song of his nightingale. So he made a rupal which played musical turns. This put the pigs to sleep. Sarah was out with her my mates when she heard a rattle. I want it, she said. It cost one hundred kisses, said Sam. One hundred kisses. Kiss the pig boy, yuck. Never said Sarah, but she didn't want to rattle. I will give you ten kisses, said she said. The prince is one hundred, said Sam. Sarah had to give in. The king was on his balcony when he heard giggling. When he heard giggling, it was coming from the pig's day. What's going on down there? The king hurried down. He crept up behind Sarah's. Mates, 
and looked over the shadows. Hmm, someone's kissing the pig boy. It's Sarah. King was very angry. Princess, don't kiss big boys. He shouted. Both of you must leave at once. Go and never come back. Sam and Sarah had to leave the palace. I don't even like pigs, said Sarah. I wish I married. I do marry the poor prince. Sam quickly changed his clothes behind the tree. You can, he cried. The happy prince, the poor, poor prince. Sam took Sarah to live in this tiny castle. Sometimes she even watered the rose tree. Fourth chapter. A silly prince asked the smelly prince. Perky was a rudest, dirtiest, smellest prince in the country. He lived all alone in his dirty old castle. He didn't like children. He hated animals. He had no friends, no one. Ugly, smelly cabbage run. <coughs> Even his soldiers came him. Smelly purse. So, so not to his face. He was a very lonely prince until one day he had an idea he would capture the a prince and marry her so she will do get her yes sir but i don't think she will be happy about that perky gabbled the first princess to come along he was taking her home when the pasted some moles there were mall hills all over his field. Perky was very angry. I won't have animals near my castle. Smash their homes. Smash, smash their homes. Perky looked the princess in a tower, but she had already agreed to marry someone easily. I clean a clean princess named Harry. I shall rescue her at once, Harry said. But he couldn't get into Perky's castle. Just then a model 
pop it it's heat above ground turkey so much did our house it said well we will help you don't worry your highness we will soon get your you into the castle The motors dug all night. They dug all of the next day too. By the following evening, they do build a tunnel. It run all the way under the moto and into the castle. Prince Harry was delighted the tunnel to took into Paris dangerous. Who are you? Prince Harry. Harry set up prison free. Then he went to find per Perky and the princess. Percy tried to stop Perry, but his sword were very rusty. It bent. He was so much for Harry, as if Dan watched it bad enough. Harry's soldier decided Percy need a bath. Don't get soap in my eyes. To Perky's surprise, he found baking, being clean was fun, and people were friendly. Harry rescued the princess and married her. Even Perky was invited to her wedding. The invitation said, please come, but take a bath first. Finish! Yesterday I read the very long story. It was fun, then bye!